Hey, what's up guys? It is the Brick Building Kids. Uh, guys, today, what I have for you is a video to share on how we're going to fix this HP um, X360 touchscreen laptop. Now, this was given to us uh, by a friend uh, of the channel and it's not working. So, as you can see here, it's dead. It's We have it plugged in, powering it on, just cannot get this thing to turn on for any reason. So, we have you know, a power button is turning on, or it looks like it's lighting up very briefly. When we're charging it, we can see, you know, it is getting it's, it's getting it's getting a light turning on, so it is trying to charge, but nothing will turn this laptop on. So I'm going to show you guys steps that I'm going to take to try and revive this laptop and hopefully get another uh, spare laptop going inside of our house. So uh, let's get started. Here we go. All right, guys. Now with these laptops, it could be something very simple. It could just be the battery. It could be, you know, something not so simple uh, like the motherboard, or you know, it, it could be something with the touchscreen. It's turned on and we don't see it. So um, my first steps is, you know, I've I've unplugged the bat, I've unplugged the charger, let it die, um, let it sit for like an hour, turn it back on. That's one step you may want to try. So it's just simple as unplugging that power cord and uh, just letting it completely drain of all power plugging it back in and turning back on the power and see if it revives it. Um, in this case, you know, it, it is not, it is still, still very much dead. So, um, to me, I don't think this is anything simple yet. So another step you may want to try, if you haven't already, try to hold that power button down, hold it down for 10 seconds, just keep holding it to see if you can See if you can see any change on the computer screen at all, or the laptop screen. You know, for us again, you know, there's just, just no change at all. So, you know, I believe this is something more hardware related. So I'm gonna unplug this from the charger, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart. Now, there are four of these little knobs or nubs on the bottom. We don't need to take off these two because there are no screws underneath. So we're gonna take off. The top. Okay, so there's a screw there. We'll set these to the side. And we're gonna take off this other one. Alright. So here's our two hidden screws. Now for all of these you're gonna need a precision screwdriver. Now these are smaller screws, so come here. I'm just gonna do all of these. Now there is one thing I want to note is the screws in the back, they are larger, so you just want to set those aside or make note of that so they are slightly larger. Okay, now some of these are stuck in here, so I have undone them. Just flip it over, they're all coming out. All right, now, like I said, you can see these four from the back are larger and these other ones are not quite as large. I'll just do a double check, make sure that they're all out. Out, out, out. Out, 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 out. Out, out, and out, okay. All right, now we're gonna start, we're gonna open up the shell again. Now inside here, you're going to want to just very gently pry this away. And there is this, there is, there are some other tools you can use. Um, I've just used my flathead screwdriver just to break it, or just to separate it apart. Okay. And over here on this side, you will want to be a little more careful because you do have your 
USB and HDMI slots, so just be aware of. Okay. All right. As you can see in here, we've got one part of part of this bottom casing that is attached by ribbon. So up here, this ribbon, there is a small, I'm gonna, un, I'm gonna unlock it here, unlock in, I'm gonna pull this ribbon out, okay. All right, let's get a closer look at that. So the ribbon itself, um, it just needs to stick into the top and then locked back into the place. Well, these are, if you've worked on smaller devices, this is, these are kind of large and they're not so hard to maneuver, but so. There is a locking mechanism that locks the ribbon in place right here. Okay. All right, so visually, I mean, I don't see any, anything visually that would indicate like there is something bad on the motherboard. And when I power this, this laptop up, there's no beeps. It's not, it's never getting to the point that it's receiving power to, to power up the screen. So, um, I mean, in my opinion, I believe that this has something to do with the battery. Um, the battery itself is plugged in right here. So, in this area, you have um, these are connected to the speakers up top, um, and this is going to be your battery port. So, um, Let's let's start there. So if I take, I mean, here's a really easy way to try this. So let's do this. Let's take, let's take our battery. I mean, if you want to remove the whole battery, you want to take that screw, that screw, that screw, and lastly, this screw out to remove the battery. Um, but I'm going to just do a little trial and error here. So if I unplug, if I unplug this battery, it will bypass, it'll bypass the battery completely. And if we have some change on, some change visually on the screen, it might tell us whether there was a hardware failure or whether there's an issue where it can't detect the battery or uh, whether there, there's some other problem. So this, this is one way to kind of force, force it to boot up differently. So let's do this. Let's go the the bottom shell. So let me show this with you guys. So the bottom part of the shell, it is a it's really auxiliary usage. So we have this ribbon here that I unplugged. So it controls the power. Uh, the, I'm sorry, the volume, the headphones, and it's got another USB. And this, although it is connected to the shell, it has no, nothing to do with the operation of the laptop itself. So um, I'm not going to connect this. I'm actually just going to, we've unplugged the battery and we're gonna try to power this back on. So I'm going to plug in my power source. Okay. And let's see if this boots up, okay. So if this boots up, then it's our battery. That's all that's wrong. Okay, and since we have removed that shell, the battery is going to be a little, or sorry, the power button on the side is a little, you're going to need to, to press it right there. Okay, and I think we might actually be getting, this might actually be turning on. That is more light than I have seen yet on this laptop. Okay. All right. Okay. So here's our, this is this has never popped up yet. Okay. So the CMOS checksum is invalid. The CMOS will reset to the default configuration and will be rebooted. Check your BIOS. 
setup options if they change. Enter to reboot the system. All right, so we're gonna reboot the system. This is a, this is definite definite progress. Okay, so enter. All right, this is amazing. This is good stuff. All right, this is good. All right, so guys, if this is like yours and you're able to pull the battery out of the slot to simulate it just powering up based on straight power, then replace your battery. I've included a link on how you guys can um, replace that in, in the video summary. Um, but if it is not that, if you're still not getting any power, you'll likely want to look into you know, the possibility of your hard drive being bad or your actual motherboard being bad. The motherboard itself, I believe it's it's about $55 to have that replaced or to buy the replacement. As you can see, I mean, it's, there are some complex pieces on there, but it's just a matter of, you know, knowing what to unplug and what to plug back into those slots. Uh, but hopefully yours is as simple as ours and it is just the battery. So if you have any comments um, or any questions on this repair for yourself, Please leave them in the comments below. I do, I do try to reply to, to most of our comments on the channel. So I um, do appreciate you guys tuning in. And I'll tell you what, let's give this another second to boot up. Just to make sure. Yeah, because at this point, we can, you really have two options. You have, you can run it without the battery and you're always bound to, you know, bound to the AC adapter or replace that battery. It's like, I think it's less than 60 bucks to have the replacement sent. All right, so we're starting here. All right, and here we are. We are good. So guys, uh, like I said, if this is off, does not fix your problem, look into the motherboard. It's a cheaper replacement. Um, you know, it may it may be the hard drive if it's not the motherboard. Um, if you're not hearing any beeps or any sounds, you know, it, it is likely your battery like this. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I like I said, I do try to reply to most comments. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you very much for watching the Brick Building Kids. Have a great day.